The motion picture you're about to see was filmed by many teams of cameramen in more than 100 locations around the globe. Scientists representing the world's foremost research centers took part in the examination of the evidence. The facts that will be presented are true. This may be the most startling film you'll ever see. A mysterious creature is roaming this wilderness, a creature that has confounded scientists, baffled investigators, and captured the imagination of millions of people. We've all heard of the reported sightings of this creature. We've read about it in our newspapers and heard about it on radio and television. And some of you, like me, might have been skeptical about these reports. So I decided to find out for myself whether it was fact or fiction. I did this by going out to talk to the eyewitnesses, questioning scientists, by examining the footprints, by looking at and listening to all of the available evidence. It wasn't until this man, Tim Dinsdale, took his motion picture film of the monster that some scientists began to take notice. It was in 1960. Dinsdale, an aeronautical engineer, took this film with his 16 millimeter Springwine camera using a 135 millimeter telephoto lens. He submitted the film for analysis to the Joint Air Reconnaissance Intelligence Center at the British Defense Ministry. They enlarged the film, as shown here, subjecting it to intense scrutiny. Their conclusions? That the film is of a living object. What's he building in there? What the hell is he building in there? He has no dog. He has no friends. What about all those packages he sends? What's he building in there? I'll tell you one thing, he's not building a playhouse for the children. There's poison underneath the sink, of course. There's also enough formaldehyde to choke a horse. He has no friends, but he gets a lot of mail. I bet he spent a little time in jail. What's he building in there? You have a right to know. Good morning. Good morning, are you? Good morning, baby. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good 
Obviously, why not? Okay, I've got everything. My keys, my paper. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yo, this is my world, bro. This is my world. Anything is possible, man. I was just a kid, now I'm painting on the walls and shit, man. For real. Yo, this ain't happen overnight, bro. This ain't happen overnight. I used to be drawing in books, now I'm painting on the wall and shit. Yeah. Yeah, they know it. They know it. Look at this shit, man. They say I don't got talent, man. I put this on the wall, man. I put this on the wall. Man, how many people you know got this shit on the wall right here like that, man? No, 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 man. Nobody. For real, man. Look at this shit. Look at this shit, man. That's real. Paint, man. I used to have Sharpies in my desk in class drawing in my notebook, man. Now look at this, man. Bigger than life, man. Bigger than life. Only my mama can see me in that. Living my dreams. Painting on the wall. Green. I've been in Winchester for, I think, five months now. Just been working on the collection. It's terrible. It's lonely. It's boring. The thing with uh, the UK, obviously, I'm, I'm having a little trouble. Just uh, the biggest thing for me is just the food. Like honestly, like you know, you wake up and you want to get some breakfast, but you can't even fucking get anything. Like it's not even just Winchester, because I've been around to London and everywhere. It's just like can't find anything that tastes good. You know, like the best things you could eat is like from like a chicken shop or something. But you know, it's just like Greg's. What the fuck, dude? Why, why the fuck do you want to eat? bread and shit for the morning like like a steak bake you know where can i just buy a bagel besides mcdonald's and their their bagels fucking suck you know just you know i need to go back to new york i've been here too long the walls have started to fucking talk to me man they're starting to talk to me and i'm not even talking to them so they're just talking to me i haven't had one good meal on this whole fucking experience five months and the pizza was, I had to fucking drink the pizza. Every time you picked it up, it fucking slid off. It was like eating fucking slimy bread. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know what these people are fucking thinking, man. They need to be enlightened with some food or something. Like, like this drink fucking sucks, you know? But I just want some sort of flavor. This, like, has a disgusting taste in my mouth. Got wasted? Fix your shit, man. Fix your shit. I'm just gonna fuck this up. What's going on? Oh. Tommy! What's happened? I just said go fuck yourself, will you? Big ass just fucking hit me. Well, uh, this is the backyard where, uh, you know, just uh, come out here early morning, late night, just start a fire. 
nice when it's cold and stuff. So. Keeps me warm. Oh, and it, there's no garbage cans here, so we just have the system where I just throw stuff in. But we got some wet ash over here. Fucking weird. Um, so, yeah, I just like to burn it. I uh, found this on the street, so I said, well, I'll bring it over. You know, and luckily I found a use for it, so. Here's a chair from one of the rooms. It's a little broken. I got a, the opportunity to make the clothes I want. It's awesome. <laughs> this, so what, dude? You know, it's, it's the place is all right, dude. Just, you know, just a little lonely. <laughs> it's a little lonely, a little boring, but overall, who, how, why can I complain? Huh? Like, come on, man. I'm doing what I want, man. I'm making these clothes for these people that love me, man. <laughs> I get so much love on the internet. No haters, right? No haters. <laughs> they care about my clothes, right? Man? It's all worth it, dude. It's all freaking worth it, bro. Like, like everyone messaged me like, dude, like, man, why, how are you doing this and shit? What the fuck do you want me to say? Yeah? What the fuck do you want me to say? What, what, what else can I do, man? Yeah? What else can I do? Help. Help me make these fucking clothes, man. You know? I'm sick of this fucking shit, dude. This collection was supposed to come out fucking two years ago. But no. No, no. Instead, I gotta fucking sleep in fucking Spider Town over here. Fucking. With a million fucking bugs and shit. You know? I sleep in a fucking tent, dude. I'm sick of this shit, bro. It's cold as hell, man. I got no fucking clothes. Look how dirty this shirt is, man. What, what, what do I want you to do, man? What do they want me to do? I got no fucking money. Even if I had money, I couldn't go eat. The food here fucking sucks. You know? Fuck these clothes, man. They suck. Look at this shit, dude. Who's gonna fucking want this shit, man? Out here in the fucking rain, dude. Who wants this shit, man? Wow, wow. Two faces, man. Sick. Sick, dude. He really came hard. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fucking shit anymore, dude. It's not worth it, man. Honestly, it's not fucking worth it, dude. To sit here in this fucking dirt for nothing. Fuck this, dude. Fuck this shit, man. Fuck these old ass, bitch ass, snitch ass, dick your booty ass, dick sucking ass, got hey. message ass, wanna be important ass, culture vultures, culture cloud head ass, motherfuckers, bitch suck my dick. Bitch, niggas fake, bitches fake, family fake too. Bitch, West, he a real nigga, real name Cody Moo. Flex, I ain't from New Jersey, bitch, I'm from the 212, but I be in New Jersey eating table with the crew. I'm the realest young nigga in the whole fucking US. Nigga, fuck the cloud on the block, they jack shack West. Bitch, I want the money, give me cash or give me check checks. I'm about the riches, so I get fucking respect facts. Facts, call it culture, shack West, I call this shit life. <laughs> For what, man? For what? These fucking kids to wear some clothes? Fuck that shit, man. I hate these clothes. I hate these kids. Honestly. I hate them. You yeah. know? They want to laugh at me, call me names? Fuck them, dude. Fuck them, man. I'll keep the clothes for myself, buddy. I don't need you. I don't fucking need you guys. I'm the king of the world, baby. I'm the king of the fucking world, man. Look what I got, man. Look at this shit, man. It's the best, man. I love it here. I love it here, man. This is my fucking city, bro. This is my city, Winchester, man. Recognize, bro. You don't see no one else living like this, man. You don't see no one else living like this, bro. I got the tent, my own personal private tent right there, bro. Could sleep there anytime I want. I don't need a blanket. Fuck that shit. I don't need a blanket. People say, oh, oh, I need a blanket to sleep. Man, come on, man. You're not thinking about the right shit, bro. For real, man, come on. I don't need I don't need to be warm at night. I just need my clothes being made. That's it, man. I just need nothing, bro. I don't need anything. You know? Look at all these Tims I got, man. You don't see no one with a pile of Tims like this, bro. Honestly. Honestly, man. I got all shapes and all sizes, all colors, all anything, man. What size are you, man? I'll, I'll give you a pair, man. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit, dude. I'm crazy, man. I'm fucking crazy, dude. I'm giving everyone shoes and shit. 
Yeah, that's what I do it for, man. That's what I do it for, man. We're just trying to make people happy, man. Honestly, honestly, man. What you want, man? I'll give you everything, man. Take it, bro. Take it. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit. I got enough, man. Look at all my stuff, man. Look at all this, bro. Come on, man. What you need? You got it, man. You, you want one, man? I'll give you all of them, bro. I'll give you all of them, bro. Take these shits, man. Shit, you know? Take these shits, bro. I don't fucking need these shits, man. Take them, man. They're yours. Honestly, bro. No, no, no. I don't want to hear anything, man. Just take them, man. Just take them. Take whatever you want. What, what's mine is yours, bro. What's mine is yours, bro. You want a guitar? I know you be playing this shit, right? I don't know how to play. I never fucking learn. So, you know, why do I need it? I don't know how to play this shit. I try to learn to play. I try to fucking play guitar, dude. I went three weeks, bro. Three weeks I try to learn, man. My fingers don't work or something, bro. I wanted to be on stage, man. I wanted to be playing my guitar on stage, bro. But nah, man, I gave up. I gave up, man. And I said, fuck it, man. I'm not going to your fucking class no more, dude. And I looked him dead in the eyes and I said, fuck you, motherfucker. I fucking knocked him out. And I said, don't you ever talk to me like that, motherfucker. And I said, mom, mom, we... Hello? Hey. Are you guys, are you guys ready? You're gonna go, go get the lemon. Okay, yeah. Nick's just parked at the roundabout. Okay, yeah, we'll go now. You got the bags? Yeah, I've got 10. Alright, guys, so we just got 10 bags, so I'll show you the review. As you can see, they're all uh, unique inside. We got the fake Young Lean tour shirt. Bought it for five bucks outside his concert. So it's sick, dude. I'll take that. I'll take it. <laughs> Here we got the. Uh, you know, I don't know if the lighting's too good, guys, but I'm sorry. Uh, we got the shirt in the inside. We got the unique packaging uh, on the outside. We got the uh, you unravel it. We got the denim. This country is backwards. That's what I wrote. <laughs> it's kind of true, man. It's kind of true, man. That's how I was feeling at the time, but got the FGNF embroidery, just random denim, you know, you got the pocket, you can put your fucking finger in there and shit. Got the zipper. Look at that, man. Who do you know got a zipper on a bag for no reason? That's what I said when I was making these. I said, you know, let's just put a fucking zipper or some shit on there, man. I'll cut it up or whatever. Here we got the Bermuda shirt. Shout out to my, my friend, Kevin. Oh, we got, an, oh, we, we got a little kid on there with a basketball, Googers. So shit, yeah, I'll put him in there. <laughs> Yeah, I do it for the kids. That's what I do it for, so fuck it. Makes me happy and makes me money, whatever. <laughs> fuck them. I don't give a shit about the kids. But here we got the world shirt. Put it in there. They're just sick, man. I love these bags, dude, honestly. Look at that. We got the mouth on there and the denim. That looks freaking awesome, dude. Shit. We got the, uh, you know, they're all pretty much same. You know, no one's going to fucking appreciate them, but, you know, who cares? Who cares? If I make one person happy, it's worth it. That's it. I make one little person happy, it doesn't matter to me. That, that's it, man. They're happy, I'm happy. I don't give a shit about all the hate I get. <laughs> They're just kidding, dude. They don't actually hate me. Alright. You got what you needed? You got what you fucking needed, dude? Look at this shit. You think people want to see this shit? Look at the pizza, dude. This is the pizza here. What, what is this, dude? Fucking microwavable Elio's fucking shit? Elio's is better than that shit. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's get out of here, man. I gotta go, dude. I need some air. I need some fucking air, dude. I need some fucking air, dude. I need some fucking air, dude. Close this door, dude. Fuck, oh, man. Yo, take these, bro. That's, I told you, man. They're gonna be worth something one day, dude. Get out of here, man. You're coming or you're staying, bro? I'm leaving, man. Fuck that shit, bro.
cheat. Oh, yeah, I'll try this. Yeah, we'll drink the chicken. Uh, just a water bottle. Yeah. And, um, that's six weeks in the car, right? Six. Oh, and, uh, can I get a chocolate cookie and a apple pie? Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the, uh, we just got in today, actually, the, the red, uh, Leicester, um, cheese melts at McDonald's. So these come with a rich tomato dip. See that cameraman? So, an upgrade from, I guess, regular ketchup, just a regular tomato ketchup. It smells like um, some like Pizza Hut-like marinara sauce. So the bites, as you can see, the texture on them, come about like four or five in a box set. They look like some type of like nugget, like cheese nugget. Let me open this so you can see the cheese. As you can see, it's a really, uh, really uh, high color, uh, yellow right there. Weird ass fucking mozzarella stick. <laughs> you know, they don't have marinara sauce in this country, so. It's a rich tomato dip will do for me, honestly. Good. The Big Mac doesn't even fucking taste the same thing. I'm sick of this shit. Look at this apple pie. Look at this fucking apple pie. Dude. You know, these don't taste good. I get them every fucking day. It's a fucking crunchy fucking burnt thing, dude. It's so fucking weird, dude. dude. And there's no fucking flavor in this. But you know, I get them every day just pretending that I taste good. Fuck this shit, dude. I'm fed up with this bullshit, dude. They have a recipe for the apple pie in America. Why can't they just send it over, man? Send that shit over, dude. ASAP. Nuggets, they, they taste like fucking bread. They don't even have fucking honey mustard or goddamn fucking touch it. This is the apple pie. A fucking tart. What is this shit? This one's pretty good actually. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be showing you around a little. This is a Winchester where I've been staying. Now this, this is a fucking main attraction, world famous. This is the Winchester High Street. You can see it start right there. This is where all the kids come shop, get some food, you know, just hang out. Sell strawberries over there. So yeah, let's go up a little. We got a lot of popular stores, of course. Accessorize. Ernest Jones. Love his love his latest work. Ernest, you did good. You did good, dude. Oh, Kunan. Kunani? Uh, don't know what that is. Travel agency? You got a fat face? Yeah. Yeah. You know, right now it's like three o'clock, so everything must be closing at like uh in an hour. Because you know these people fucking are retarded. It's closed shit mad fucking early. Here we got my friend. Fucking uh, beat down fucking Billy over here. Hey, how you doing, sir? So what, what are you doing? You selling one? Yes. How much? Two pounds fifty. Alright, we got some famous stores, you know? Clark's. 
That's a good sword. Which is uh, their, their equivalent to like Rite Aid and uh, CVS. You know, something that should be open like late into the night. Something that everyone could just get whatever they need. But no. Close that fucking like 4 p.m. There's a bunch of fucking freaks in this town. Is the president or some shit in there? Is Boots closed right now? Oh, power surges? Yeah, it's on the whole release. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, well, we just got some news. There's uh, power shortages uh, all throughout the town of Winchester. Whatever. Here we have the post office. As you can see, it's not a fucking post office. You can just buy school supplies and shit here. Please find me the post office. You know, where do you ship shit, you know? There's just a bunch of fake fucking stores, dude. What is this shit? Justice? They sell on fucking baseball bats and jewelry. Fucking footballs and fans. It's a nice football though, honestly. I hate this fucking place. You don't know how many fucking times I walked up and down the street just to get to the fucking studio. Fucking sick of this shit, dude. I can't do it another fucking day. Walk up this shit. Gotta start taking the side roads or some shit. This is what I'm talking about now. Now it's getting sour. You know, so you gotta pick which side to start from. So the bottom this time was the sour part. Usually the top is the sour part for me. But yeah, past 6 p.m., can't find one fucking store open on the street. You're bored, you wake up late, you're fucked, okay? There used to be a Domino's in town, just fucking closed down. Only place open past 12. So you know, I can't even fucking eat, dude. What am I gonna eat, fucking some shit? Fuck this shit, man. I gotta wait for fucking, for fucking 7 or 6 in the morning just to fucking eat some food. Sick of this fucking shit. You know, they don't even got McGriddles at McDonald's. Fuck this shit, man. I don't want a fucking bagel, dude. I don't want a McGriddle, dude. What the fuck, man? The pancakes fucking taste like shit, dude. I'm done with this shit. Let's go down to the bus station. So I've been here uh, five months about. I left uh, February 8th. It's now, um, it's now June 28th. My flight is for uh, July 15th. Still got a long way to go. What's that, 16 days or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't fucking look at me, you retards. So, you know, I've been here long enough. So hopefully I could just push power through it, you know, get, 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 get out of here. Everyone's fucking leaving tomorrow. So I'll be alone again. These people, man. How can you live in a town when there's just yeah, one fucking street with no stores on it? Uh, Jigsaw, of course, we know that store. Oh, no, Shoon? Fuck. Okay. Car phone warehouse? What the fuck is that shit? What, what's a car phone, dude? And is this really the warehouse? You know? Do people even use car phones? It's a cell phone, right? They're selling cell phones? I need to learn how to fucking, they need to get their shit together. Mostly every day there's these uh, little stands here. As you can see we got uh, burritos, nachos. So yeah, I, I tried it out. But shit, yeah, burrito, that'd be good. 
I got the burrito. Fucking shit was this big, dude. Shit had nothing in it, too. Huh? You know where I can find any good grub? In America? Yeah. Dude, get the fuck out of this town. I'm warning you, dude. Listen, yeah. yeah. boy, listen, boy, huh? don't, don't nobody talk to me right now for my dad. Go back home, man. Listen, man. Go back you home, buddy. You looking for trouble, man? Go, hey, go back home, buddy. <laughs> All right? For the back, man. Who was that? So, uh, I guess uh, an American tourist. You know, I've been warning them off every time I see them. Just get, dude, go back. Well, it's not worth it, man. Anyway, we got Mark and Spencer's. This is interesting. Look, come here. So it closes around seven, so you can't buy any groceries. But of course, it's a half grocery store, half clothing store. You know? Because that fucking makes sense. So they make food and they also make fucking clothes. But Mark, Mark and Spencer's. They they make food, dude. Fuck this shit. Hey, Buster. How you doing, buddy? are becoming heavier. Another way to test the truthfulness of eyewitnesses is through hypnosis, where people can more vividly recall things they saw and did but cannot remember. I'm in the office of Dr. Sidney Walter, a clinical psychologist licensed by the California State Board of Medical Examiners. A former professor at UCLA and a government consultant, Dr. Walter specializes in the use of hypnosis. And he is, at this moment, placing Jerry Lou Welchel of Fontana, California, into a hypnotic trance. Carson. Catherine, look out. Get down, get down, get down. Just a little room. Um, we still have to get a phone and stuff, but... It's a nice little room. Whatever. Here's, uh, my lookbook I shot. I finally got the posters for it. So, these are gonna be dope. We flew out the model, uh, not too long ago, so... He's a nice guy. This is for the Christmas uh, collection that's dropping this year. Got the sweater. Oh. Yeah, we also threw in a few uh, kids' uh, pajamas. So this is another lookbook we shot. Got the whole family there. Great people, these guys. Great people. Okay, upstairs. So, uh, we used to have lights, but... Uh, I fell from a fucking socket or whatever, so. Uh, so 
So right here is the little kitchen slash bathroom area. Got the washing machine. Uh, doesn't work. The microwave works. It's a good microwave. Never used it. We got some uh, strawberry jam for when I'm hungry. And some uh, pot noodle. Hey. Okay. There's the fridge. Some fucking mold or some shit in there. Yeah. Here's the bathroom. This is the shower. Um, yeah, we were locked out earlier, so I had to climb through the window. There's no hot water. Oh, shit. But it's cold. It's cold, it doesn't work. Same shit. Uh, yeah, might as well show you the roof. the table uh, we've been uh, burning the Tim's on, the iron brands. We uh, burned a hole through it though. So uh, I believe the house didn't catch on fire. But uh, still pretty dangerous that happened. We got some uh, guys across. The hey guys! What's up? There's just some friends, some Winchester locals. Early mornings I come out here when I can't sleep. It's, uh, you know, too hot or cold in there, some, something's going on. Just come out here, look at everything. Got a rain. You usually hear uh, construction throughout the day. We have a nice view of the uh, backyard area. Um, yeah, I mean, we got trees, we got the castle over there. Usually we have the fire over there, so in case of an emergency, we spray it down with the hose. But uh, it's empty. So here we have uh, some of the tims that we've been burning, but uh, you know, some of them come out pretty bad. <laughs> so whatever, you know, you know, life's not fair. You get a shitty pair, whatever. This is, uh, you know, when we have guests over or someone important, we uh, have them sleep here. In the bed. Here's a little photo room. We just uh, paid to get this in here. You know, it, uh, it kind of, kind of hurt the budget a little, but you know, it's worth it. Wheat Tim's. Still got to be branded with the logo here, though. Get the timber box put together. Just a clean, simple design. We don't really like to go. Like this. chairs in here. They're vintage. Uh, we just picked these up not too long ago. So. They're pretty dope chairs. Just vintage. Here's the window I like to look out sometimes. Pretty awesome. So um, this is the storage room. Uh, we got the bed here. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't recommend sleeping on it. So, this is the pile of clothes. This is the idea I had um, when I was just brainstorming. I was like, you know, what's a cool, unique way we could just, like, package the clothes and just lay them out for storage? I was like, a pile, dude. So we just put them all in a pile, all the embroidered pieces. And, you know, you just kind of rubbish through it. Shit could get ripped and dirty and stuff, but... It's okay, you know? It's, it'll be fine. There's no spiders right here or anything, right? There's just like spider webs right there. The clothes will be fine, don't worry. Here's the bags we made. Um, so, 
there's a bunch of denim pieces that I uh, drew on and then cut up. A lot of work. It takes a day to sew one of these together. So we got 35 of these bags. Each one has a custom uh, shirt inside. So a random shirt for my personal wardrobe. So I don't have any shirts anymore. So hope you're happy. Here's a bedroom. Um, it'd be nice to sleep here, except um, at night it gets really cold. So, so you know, you could be in the blanket and uh, you'll just see the cold air. And you'll know, see, see your breath and stuff. And I don't re recommend it. There's no Wi-Fi up here. Yeah, you know, if you don't mind uh, spiders growing on you and shit, it's a perfect place for you because, you know, it's comfy. But Here's the final room upstairs. We got... Um, this is the picture room. Usually we got the lights on the C stand hooked up. Got a, a local artist to come paint it. Uh, it's just some kid around town. Uh, it's pretty garbage. Uh, this is when I just, you know, I'm feeling some like bars. Just want to like share my feelings with someone. I just talking to this mic. I mean, it's not, it's not hooked up to anything, but uh, you know, I just like to vent my feelings. So, so thank God for this. You know. Uh, for this, I would have been out of here a long time ago. Here's a room we also don't uh, go into much. It's uh, super fucking dirty. Holy shit, look at that. Look at that. Wow. You yeah. know? Wow. Jesus. Okay, we better leave this closed. So, this is where I've been staying for the past uh, five months. Here we got the downstairs. We got the uh, gentleman bathroom. Oh. This one's pretty nice. We got uh, some local art again. We got uh, the mirror. Uh, I don't know what happened to the mirror, but it still, it still works. You can still see yourself. Here we have the sinks. It's a little tough. It takes a second, it takes a second, but whatever. So, dry your hands. After uh, basic stuff. So it's the uh, ladies' room now. The light doesn't work, but, you know, in the daytime you could uh, almost see. The light in here works, so. It's a nice room. Sinks are fucked up. But, uh, alright, you know, it works, it flushes, that's all that is. Look at that. Over here we have the uh, bar for those late nights, you know, when all the boys are over. <laughs> Just have a few drinks, you know. <laughs> One day they'll come over, but you know what? Uh, but here's the cellar. We don't like to go up down here. We hear noises and stuff, so we got a big lock on this door. But uh, I'll show you guys from the video. Oh, Jesus. We gotta be careful. No, yeah, yeah. It's fine. I don't know what this thing is. Gotta watch out for the spiders. Oh, Jesus. So, we got the beer kegs. There's nothing in them, though. So, none of that shit works. Let's get out of here. or something in my throat. Sink. You can wash your hands. No, no hot water. We got some games, yeah. Oh, the TV broke. We got a lot of games, but the TV doesn't work anymore. So we can't really play the PS2 anymore. We got a lot of CDs. Pretty dope. We got jelly beans, a lot of them. The hot sauce ones, the popcorn ones, the beer ones. Yeah, these probably expired. Who, who knows when? Got the McDonald's toys, a whole lot of them. 
only place I fucking eat here. Only place I fucking eat in town. We got them always watching me. Whatever, you know? I got nothing to hide. I don't give a shit. Fuck them. Got the Bjorks it is. Got some board games that I could never play with. Because, you know, you can't play them alone. So, whatever. Fuck them. They don't want to come visit me, whatever. Fuck them, dude. This is the main area where I spend most of my time. There's a TV that doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Had a nice little setup with a PS2. I went shopping in town, picked up some games. Grand Theft Auto 3, SXX Tricky, Manhunt, Tekken 4, Wacky Races, Crash Nitro Kart, Time Splitters. Let's go one. See what else we got. Army Men Sarge's Hero 2, Devil May Cry, Damon Summer, SmackDown vs. Raw, uh, 18 Wheeler, and SpongeBob. You know, I couldn't find Battle for Bikini Bottom, that's my favorite, but I never played this one, but uh, I, I guess I never will because the TV broke, so. Why do I even try, you know? We got BMX XXX, you know, couldn't find Tony Hawk, but this, this game's pretty good, actually, so I'm not mad. At the DJ booth, you know, I have my late night sets. Practicing, you know, sometimes kids come, just having a fun little time. Locals, you know, maybe like two, two or three people come, but they don't. They don't come. This is where I used to sleep. This is where I used to sleep, but uh, at night the spiders would crawl down from the ceiling and fucking crawl on me, so. I was sick of it, you know? The pillows are clean, though. Can't complain. Can't complain about that. Uh, so. I made a little investment and bought this tent. So I've been spending my nights here. It's a little cold at night, but it's worth it. You know, I feel safe in there. So the couch, uh, I don't like to go on this couch really because uh, we found mold under it. So we got the mold remover. So hopefully we're okay. Got my friend's sick, but. This is just a table. Nothing much to really say about this, but uh, it's a pretty good table. We got a lot of shit on there. It's a uh, VHS that we're recording over. So sorry, Ali G. We need the fucking space. Here we got some tables. Uh, sometimes I like to put them together, and uh, on the hot nights I uh, I sleep on these because it's it's like pretty cold, and also I feel like spiders can't crawl up and get me so. Here we got the uh, computer, a Mac. I prefer a PC, but whatever. So this is the uh, workshop area. We got uh, the embroidery machine. Embroiders through the night, loud as hell. Oh, what the fuck is this, dude? I've never seen this fucking message before. You know, usually it's a thread break or some shit. That sounds like some serious shit. So I'm gonna have to figure this out later. I'm sure all the shirts are soft and broidered. You know, these are just dirty clothes that I bought for cheap. Look at the shit. Well, you still got a lot of embroidery to do. It's gonna have to stay up all night. It's gonna be loud, loud and annoying. This is a new piece I'm working on. This is the uh, new triple box thinger. We had to remove the hood to embroider it, but uh, got them sewn on there. A little embroidery on the back, so we're going to put some on the sleeves. Got the hood. The hood's going to be attached. We got the uh, Supreme shirt. I picked it up, went to town, went to London, an hour away. Wasn't worth it, but uh, I picked up the shirt. My friend Ray designed it. We got a pile of fucking dirty shoes. I, uh, look, look how many fucking spider webs there are. You know, and I've been sleeping in this shit. You know, I, when I wake up, I fucking feel spiders on my. Disgusting. 
Well, now I got the tent, so, so things are actually a little better. But. Oh, there's the phone charger. This door is a little tricky to open, but once you got the hang of it, you're good. I'll pull it down here. Push it. Here we got the alleyway. Scary as hell at night. Here we got the uh, where we start the fires to keep me uh, cool. I'll take a bite of your test. Actually, I'll take a bite. That's right. Actually, do you want to just have a bite of your test real quick? Mm -hmm. Random fact of the day you will survive longer eating toast. Okay. What's better than toast? We had this discussion if you have to have one with food for us, you like this toast. Bread. Mm. Mm. Good bit of toast. Fucking love it. Why does Steve Stevenson kill himself when there's toast in the world? <laughs> Steve Stevenson. Mmm! Mmm! Cool. Toast. I'll just have a bite of your toast, that's alright. Okay. I'll take a bite of your toast. Actually, I'll have a bite. Mm. And that's why it's toast. I'll just have a bite of your toast, that's alright. Actually, do you want to just have a bite of your toast? Mm. Random fact of the day, you will survive longer eating toast than toast. Okay. What's better than toast? We had this discussion if you had to have one with food for us, you like this toast. Bread. Mm. Good bit of toast. Fucking love it. Why does Steve Stevenson kill himself when there's toast in the world? <laughs> Steve, Steve, cool toast. <laughs> 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 Means either one of two things. He's either he's either a lunatic serial killer who works very slowly, or he's a nice guy that's sort of weird a lot of the time. Nitin is just a true visionary who, uh, I'm honestly very happy that I could work with him and he could work with me and, uh, I haven't been attacked or, uh, killed yet, so, that's pretty good that, uh, I could trust him now, so, I just fuck with Nitin cause, uh, like, literally he told me he only fucks with me, so I'm, o I'm honestly surprised I haven't been killed yet, so, shout out to Nitin, he's a true visionary. How long have you known about Nitin and Austin? Well, I always knew about Nitin, but no one really knew the exact deal with Nitin. Uh, there were some theories floating around. You know, gay lover, a hostage, prisoner. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Yo, 
get this. Get him off the car. Oh! But he didn't try to attack me yet, so. So, things are going good, I guess. <laughs> You swear I'll be flexing mm -hmm. oh, yeah, mm -hmm. Line of the city mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know mm -hmm. I feel the same mm -hmm. I'm not mm -hmm. There's been a lot of rumor going around that you died, is that true? No, I just, uh, like I said, there's no Wi-Fi here, so it's hard to keep in contact with people. But, but no, I'm alive. I'm living good and shit. You see how I'm living? Look at this shit. Huh? <laughs> eh? What up? Everything's okay. Sorry? Please tell me that. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's alright. It's alright. I'll be out of here soon. I'll be out of here soon. It's only June. It's only June. It's only June. I'll be out of here soon.
I met Ken a few years ago in New York. We had some mutual friends. I said, I'm gonna make you a fucking star, dude. Next thing you know, I flew him out to Hollywood. Uh, there was this first uh, movie I told him to go into the casting. He got the part, main role. So next thing you know, he she uh, doesn't want to answer my calls and shit. So I, I, I find him in one cafe one day in L.A. and I said, "Yo, what the fuck, dude? You owe me 15% of that fucking contract money." So he gets into a whole big argument with me, starts fucking uh, throwing throwing shit off the table and stuff, making a big scene. So he said, "Fuck you, dude." Next thing you know, uh, I, because my friend was writing this script, and I said, oh, I know the best person to play this part, but, you know, uh, we have some, some beef going on. So, so you know, I decided to be the bigger man and just hit up Kean and say, listen, dude, I have a role that I think you'll really be interested to. Finally, he replied to my email after fucking uh, what, about 20 emails, who knows. Uh, finally, his uh, assistant or someone replied, and... Uh, he flew out to Winchester, so now we're filming it, and uh, you know he seems to be acting all right. So hopefully we could put the past behind us and just keep moving on. That's it. I feel like those pictures are pretty good. What? Because the lighting. Flash went off, which is weird. That's it. <coughs> <coughs> Feels like there's a big rock lodged right here. Sweating profusely. I can't read anything anymore. I went to uh, um, the Texas spot in Winchester. I was really excited to eat there. And I looked at the menu and I was like, oh shit, wait a minute, I can't read anything. So I asked the guy what his favorite thing on the menu was, and he was like, the blah blah blah. I said, yeah, I'll just take that. Huh? I can't do this. There's just a <coughs>
Yeah. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck Sure. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Holy shit. Fuck that, dude. You'll see it. Once it moves, it doesn't look scary right now. Wait till that shit fucking moves. Oh! oh. Come on, boy. Crawl up. Dude, that's the spookiest fucking spot I ever saw. That's the Spider-Man fucking spider, Should I kill it? Oh, fuck. One, two. Smash. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Dude! It's in there. It's gonna die. No, it's in between the grates. Uh, yeah, what, what, what are the flavors? <laughs> It's gonna be a fucking great day. <laughs> it's the longest right. day of the year. It's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay, also. Everything's gonna be alright. You'll be out of here soon. Everything's gonna be okay. You'll be back home soon. You'll see your friends. You'll see your friends soon. Everything's worth it. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. It's all worth it. Not for one minute that I think it's not worth it. It's all worth it. Everything's gonna be alright. Right, kid? Yeah, it's gonna be alright, right? I think so. Everything's good, right? You're feeling alright, right? Yeah. Spiderman! Don't worry, man. We're gonna get some good footage soon, dude. Don't worry. Everything's alright. Yeah, so we still got like 40 pairs of Tim's to do, but uh, tonight we should actually start on my watch series. So we got like 180 to go. I said we could do like half of those tonight, but no, dude, no way. But um, no, no, I'll be fine, dude. I'll be fine. Dude, I How are you really feeling, though? Not good, dude. Really not fucking good. It's just like... Dude, I... No, dude, no. We just gotta do the No, thing. dude, no. We got the map. Dude, dude. no. Here, come on. Oh, dude. It's good that your flight got canceled though. So now we could what? we could definitely finish the long season. What about that is good? Well we could finish the long season so it's good. And I won't be alone. Dude, fuck that. Dude, I can barely fucking walk, dude. It's not bad. Dude, you don't know. No, but dude, you all understand how sick I am. Dude, yeah, we all have a little headache. Get over. Dude, I'm sweating. 
and I'm hot. Because I'm cold right now, dude. I'm fucking hot and cold. Dude, you don't even fucking make any sense. You know? You don't know shit about working hard, okay? You know? What are you gonna do in the future? Pathetic, dude. You're fucking pathetic. I'm, I'm actually glad you're going home, dude. I'm glad. Take that fucking flight right now. Fucking, I'll Uber you to the fucking airport right now, dude. Fuck! <laughs> Just don't know if I could go on much longer, God. Please give me the strength, the power, and the hope to to move on. Please forgive me, Lord. Please just give me a sign that you're up there. I don't know if I could go on much longer, Lord. I've made a big, big, big mistake, Lord. Now, now I don't know if I'll survive. I'm sorry, Lord. If you're up there listening, just please. Please take me into consideration. I'm very, I'm very scared. I'm very afraid. I don't know if I can go on much longer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yo, what you doing? It's my grass, bro. It's my fucking grass, bro. Yeah, that's right. Yo. 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 Is you listening to me, bro? Yo. Hey, buddy. Buddy, man. So what's wrong with your friend, bro? What's wrong with your friend, man? Yeah. What's the fault of you, dog? Excuse me. Excuse me, buddy. It's my grass, dog. Yeah, come on, man. Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing, man? It's my grass, dog. What? What up? What up? Come on, man. Yo, 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 chill, man. You wanna get static, bro? Huh? Hey? What up? What up? Man, get the hell out of here, bro. What up? Go on, man. Go on. Get. Hear the guy? 
Nice to meet you. Austin. What's your name? Tyler. What's up, man? So, uh, you want to talk to me? Uh, uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, I just have a few questions. Uh, what's up? Okay, um, just one second. I have a meeting in uh, 20 minutes, so we've got to keep this short, okay? Okay. Um, how long have you had this vehicle? Huh? I just picked it up, actually. Oh, oh hold on. Let me turn on the watch for you. I just got it about a week ago. You know, I just picked it up. This is light work, dude. This is fucking nothing, dude. I'll buy 10 of these tomorrow. I don't fucking care. Uh, where are we right now? We're in Winchester. And this is where I've that's where I've been at, man. Yeah, this is the address you sent me to. I thought it'd be a house or something. No, no, no. It's just a car park, man. So this is where you've been staying? Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You sleeping here? Yeah. But I mean it's no big deal to me. It's comfy and shit, so I don't care. I don't care. What are you doing here? Huh? What what are you doing here? I got music and shit. There's no Wi-Fi though, so I gotta go to Starbucks and download it. But uh, but uh, yeah, I listen to music and shit. Uh, what what are you doing here? Hmm? What are you doing here? I'm just working on my collection. It's huh. going good, man. I blew all the budget though. Bought this shit. So uh, so I don't I don't really care about the clothes no more. So it's basically just about surviving out here. But you know, I, I've been living in this car, so I spent spent all my money on this shit. So got the keyboard for these computers back here. You can see them. I'm not sure. They're not on right now. Let me turn them off for you. Whatever, it's a fucking hassle anyway. Uh, I'll do that. Oh, there we go. Let me adjust it for you. Okay. So, you know, there's no Wi Fi or anything. But it's pretty cool. I play uh, Minesweeper and stuff. There's no Wi-Fi, so. Sometimes I check my messages uh, at Starbucks. I also don't know how to drive, so. Uh, right. So, they're letting me stay at this car park for a while. So when you have meetings, you just have them over here? Yeah, of course. Where else would I have them? Starbucks? Uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. They think I'm a fucking loser or something. Uh, so anything you want to say about the collection? Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, there'll be clothes made, but, uh, only about, like, uh, 5% of the money went to making them, so they won't be that good. But, you know, they'll still be there, so you can buy them or whatever. I don't give a shit. Uh, has anybody in town recognized you or uh, asked you to sign anything? Uh, yeah, I, I try to stay out of town, though. Just when I'm going to Starbucks, though, or... There's too many fans, bro. Too many fans, man. These people get annoying, man. They're weird. Fucking knocking on my window at night and shit, telling me to, like, I gotta move the car and shit. It's fucking weird, dude. It's annoying, man. All these fans. Uh, what do you gotta say to your fans out there? Who are who are waiting on, on this collection for so long? You know, honestly, save your money, man. Save your fucking money, man. If you're a real fan of me, just save your money. Wait till the next collection. Shit will be a little better then. But, uh, yeah, this collection, man. I don't know, man. It is what it is, man. You know? Love is love. So you think maybe the fame got a little to your head and, like, you, you slacked from the club? Absolutely clothes? not, man. Absolutely not, man. They could say that all they want, man. This is how I'm living, man. I'm living big, bro. This shit's bigger than life. 
You know? Who would have thought, man? Aspids is living in a car and shit. Look at this car, man. You you ain't never seen this in your life, bro. For real. I also got a chain, too. That's where the collection money went. It's the Supreme chain, man. Are you still involved with Spaghetti Boys? Spaghetti Boys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Curling, right? Curling Frost? Yeah, yeah, of course, man. Of course. I've been sending them uh, letters in the mail and shit. They, ha they haven't replied yet, though. But yeah, yeah, I drew a design on a piece of paper and shit. So hopefully they take it into consideration. And, you know, I'm still waiting for my, uh, my uh, you know, percentage. But I don't know, man. Some some must have went wrong, man. I, I wrote the addresses on them perfectly, though. I'm not. I need to buy a ticket or something. A plane ticket. Hold on, man. Honestly, man, I've come to accept that I'm just going to be here forever, man. That's why I got the car to live in, man. I can't live in that studio no more, man. You seen how it was in there? Can't live there no more, man. I took the money, I bought a car, and then I said, fuck it, I'm living here, man, across the street. The fucking parking lot. Do you think you're ever going to get your driver's license? Not in this country. Hell no. Small ass roads and shit. Fuck that. Maybe uh, I could convince like a homeless guy to fucking drive me somewhere. Or just like a local, an old man or something, but, you know. You know, I thought like uh, America was connected to like the UK and thought you could drive and shit. Thought there was a, a light bridge, like a rainbow bridge or something. But nah, yeah. You gotta take a boat or something, like shit, they told me. But, but uh, I'm looking to fly over there, so. Yeah. Maybe I'll be back soon, man. Once I find my passport. Get a new one or something. I heard that Winchester was like the disabled central of uh, England, like all the disabled people come here to retire, is that true? Yeah, I think so, man. They're building an old person's home right across the street. Uh, it's a lot of wheelchairs you see it around. Do you think that's like helped your creative process? Uh, no. Maybe. I don't know, man. It makes me just want to fucking uh, get this shit out there before I fucking become handicapped, man. For real. I'm not trying to become no fucking uh, wheelchair fucking weirdo, man. For real. We got the ice box here. For now, when you had the ladies over and shit. Drink their fucking, uh, you know, whatever they want. Like, we got the spray paint in the car. Just one can, though, that's all we need. Got the computers that have no Wi Fi. Fucking uh, Windows fucking 6 or some shit. You know, we got the little component here. I ain't put nothing in there yet, but I'm working on it. We got the draw for the uh, instruction manual for the car and shit. You know, it's super hard to get the music to work and shit, so I, I'll be reading that at night and shit. But uh, yeah, I mean, we got the component here, what's in here. We got the headphones and shit, because they be doing construction and shit at the end of the day. You know, I'm not trying to hear that shit, so I'll put on the headphones. Oh, of course, when I have my meals and shit, got the little table there. Eat, eat, eat fucking food right there, man. So, yeah, man, it's pretty cool. I can't complain, bro. I can't complain, honestly. Man. You know, people people say I'm fucking weird for living in my car and shit. Man. Who else you know got a little table that comes out so you can eat food and shit, man? I'm not mad, man. You can say whatever you want, man. I'm living good, man. I got a window. Pull it open, man. Get some fresh air when you're sleeping. Good man, that's all I need. It's a strong car too, man. No one's breaking into this shit. Got the lights and shit. What this do? Alright. You see how we coming this year, man? Auto magic, man. Shit caught closed auto magically, bro. Fuck this shit, man. I don't give a shit no more, man. I'm set. Life is good, bro. What else can I say, man? I'm good to go. I'm going to be here the next 15, 20 years. I don't care. I'm good, man. Are you crying? No. What the fuck? These tears are joy, bro.
This dude's a joint, man. You know, in school they would make fun of me and shit. They would make fun of me and shit. But now look, look at me, man. I'm looking good, bro. I don't care what these people say. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm looking good, bro. I'm overseas, man. How many, how many kids in my class can say that, man? They ain't overseas, man. Fuck them, bro. Yeah, my mom called me the loser and shit. <laughs> Told me to get a job. Well, I got something else, man. <laughs> I got a house with wheels, man. So you could, you could call me a loser all you want, man. You, you ain't invited. Okay. I don't care, man. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not mad. I don't care. I got all the walk right here, man. Shit, man. Uh, uh, I got another meeting soon, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please leave. Please stay. Are you sure this is your car? Huh? huh? Yeah, yeah. Just get out of here, man. Do you have the keys? Get the fuck out of here, man. Son of a... You see that? I'll get my rifle and get a shot at this thing. sites. I can't. It, it looks human.
I'm not feeling it. What? I'm not feeling my outfit. What's wrong? I don't like this clip. Huh? Don't say that. Let's start over. The collection? Yeah.